Well, hi, here we are again for our second interview at the home of Rhubarb Productions in Moose Jaw, our professional theater company. Ta-da! And Evie Koop Sawatsky is here. Welcome. Thank you very much. So tell us, you know, this is a, a game. When we had the first show, we talked about what was happening. And now the second show is scheduled to come out around Valentine's Day from the 13th to 15th. And it's called Summon Enchanted Evening. From the King and I. Uh, no. No? No, Summon Enchanted Evening is from State Fair. Really? Yeah. But, uh, okay. but it, King and I was also written by Rodgers and Hammerstein, yeah. and it's and the, all you, the, oops. The music all sounds the same. Uh, <laughs> the same, but you know. It's like if you look at Andrew Lloyd Webber's so shows. He's got a very, st he's got a style. Yes, yes exactly. The, yes, yeah. that team ha definitely has a style, a yeah. style known for great lyrics uh, and, and music and melodies all mixed together and, and a lot of the great show tunes of, of um, American musicals. So. Yeah, and, and it's a big tribute to uh, the musicals. I mean, how many different shows are included in the songs? Like, well, I want you to know, question. folks, you're going to see 54 different selections. So she's counting, but 54 different shows. The first half is like 19, and the second half is like 35. So there's lots of music that you will remember, and a couple of them shows that we've never even heard of. And so... Uh, 12 or 13 different shows, maybe more than that. 12 or 13 different shows, yeah. And is this all music you love to sing with your, you know, with your friends? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and everyone is very um, is very excited to sing Rodgers and Hammerstein. It's the meat and potatoes of musical theater, and and it's uh, it's just it's what it all kind of came from. And so, um, yeah. It, yeah. Can't can't help but love singing it. And you've got so you have State Fair, um, Sound of Music, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, lots of Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, Flower Drum Song, South Pacific, Sound of Music, um, Cinderella. Uh, let's see what else. The King and I, Carousel, mm, Allegro, which yeah, talk about Allegro. Well, Allegro is. It was, you know, one of the ones that just didn't resonate quite as much, and some may call a flop. Uh, um, but it, it definitely didn't have the same kind of run that, I mean, Oklahoma did. And Flower Drum Song was a, another show that we don't necessarily hear a lot about, especially because it was written um, for a, a certain demographic to perform. Um, and so it didn't quite get as, I mean, the demographic of, of Asian performers is less, so you don't quite get as much um, no. playtime with that. So, but nowadays you could probably take it in Southeast Asia and <laughs> run it for a long time. Yeah, well, and even, you know, even in many parts of North America, it's uh, it. I mean, non-traditional casting is becoming a a, a real big thing, but uh, I still wouldn't be able to. Be in that show, but <laughs> but lots of other uh, lots of other ethnicities would be able to perform that. So West Side Story too. No, not West Side Story. I was wondering, you know, because I said there's some beautiful love songs oh, in there, but but it wasn't hard to choose which That's, ones to put in. Yeah, well, that one that was Bernstein and uh, and Sondheim that did West Side Story. So uh, we'll be doing um, at the the dinner on the Valentine's Day at Temple Gardens Mineral Spa. We'll be having some other love songs um, from, for instance, West Side Story and um, Phantom of the Opera. There'll be some other songs that are performed specially at that dinner. So We'll have to talk a bit about that, but first of all, let's say it's on 7.30 nightly, and it features some of some people who've been in the shows uh, before and some new people. So let's talk about them. Yes, uh, we have five performers in the, in the show. Um, music will be provided by Josh Carley, um, and the so uh, Sheldon Bergstrom. Let's start with him. Uh, people have seen him in "It's a Wonderful Life" at the Valent or at the gala for our, for our fundraiser in November, and also as Shrek. Um, and if not from from any of the rhubarb productions, uh, perhaps from past telemiracle shows or just from 
seeing shows from the Neptune in Halifax to performances in Calgary and Toronto. I mean, he's been everywhere. And uh, so he'll be joining us as Will, um, kind of the comedic guy of the show. Marianne Woods, who uh, is just a beautiful lady who's spent so many years um, encouraging people and, and performing. Um, she is playing Anna, um, who's kind of the uh, wise woman of the show who encourages these young performers to, you know, to, to love and forgive and, and all of those things. I thought that was, that's a really great way of describing Marianne when you say she's just a lovely woman you know she's a and she's a an actor a, a, you know an award-winning actor in uh, and has performed and taught uh, in Regina for for many years mm -hmm. and been involved with a lot of productions here in Mushta as well yes yes and she she was in Pirates of Penzance um, and in our fundraiser gala as well and am I missing another show I think uh, I think I think that might be it. Okay. So how else? Do, who else do we have there? Uh, um, let's see. We have well, myself. I'll be playing Julie. I'm thrilled mm -hmm. to be a part of the show. Um, so a lot of the beautiful ingenue songs, um, and I've been having uh, competitions with the tenor of the show, Billy, um, in rehearsal this afternoon. He kept wanting to sing my note, which was the highest note. So then I would go up a third, and then he would join me, and then I'd go higher. Uh, it's Billy, like anything you could do, I can yeah. do better? <laughs> he, was, he, he was getting pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty feisty about it, and uh, great voice. Um, Aiden Church is his name, and he's joining us from Toronto. He just finished at the Shaw Fest. Festival, and uh, I mean, just, just beautiful. So, um, I really hope that uh, that people from Ustra come out and, and enjoy him. And one more, Shannon, Shannon Harrison. Harrison. Yes, yes. Uh, she is um, a young performer and emerging artist who are thrilled to be um, uh, uh, helping uh, get an apprentice credit for with the Actors Equity Association. She, um, she studied down in New York and and around uh, Canada has performed in various places around the world um, most recently she's known for making it to the top 10 in the Wizard of Oz Andrew Lloyd Webber yep. um, thing but she's been in various Regina little theater productions and uh, and and such so beautiful beautiful voice and very talented so that's a really good a really good cast and again professional production with all these people who are up and comers or seasoned performers like Marianne and, and yourself and Robert and so it, it's going to be quite a show but oh. how are you going to fit this in do we have to bring a lunch <laughs> no it's uh it's all like it's all arranged and so there's little bits of all these favorite songs and there's i mean it just flows and it just moves the the way it's a fast paced show but it's uh it's indulgent too, so it's it's beautiful. So uh, it's a lot of the classical musicals, and uh, we talked about Allegro being. Sometimes they're great shows with uh, that have a, they have good music, but then there's shows that maybe there are one or two songs, but the rest of the show is not good. But the song should continue on, and so yeah, you know, uh, it sounds like a, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I think so. I think so. And uh, and the fun thing about this production is it kind of starts off backstage with everyone um, getting ready for the show. And so in a sense, uh, we, as we were preparing the opening today, everyone's doing their warm-ups, everyone's singing songs from the show that are about to come up. And so it's this great, this great uh, big um, preview. And the audience, who never gets to see the singers warm up, kind of really gets to hear the cacophony of sounds that happen backstage in our opening sequences and and then all of a sudden it turns into a great big show so and and you have a special event the dinner so I talk about that yes we decided we were going to try and do a special a special evening event that has uh we decided we were going to just do it on one night this year, see how it went over. Um, but it's a mini wine night at Temple Gardens. So they've been having their beautiful wine nights with their five-course meals. And this is a three-course meal, uh, appetizer, dinner, and dessert with a wine pairing. Um, 
live music and uh, and all timed um, perfectly so everyone can get to the theater and and uh, enjoy a full evening of culture in downtown Mr. What time does it start the dinner? The cocktail start at 5:30 and tickets can be purchased through the through the Rubber office at 321 Main Street um, and uh, and it uh, it'll finish um, by seven o'clock so everyone can take their time getting over to the theater. And the music that you're going to see there, what night is that? Do you... That's that's Valentine's. Oh, okay, I wanted to be sure <laughs> yes, we haven't yes. said that yet. On Friday, on Friday, yeah. Friday only, one night only. <laughs> and how much are your tickets for that? Uh, you get your dinner and your perf and your performance at the May Wilson Theater yeah. for $99. Okay, and what a great date night. I mean, this is, uh, uh, I mean, guys who are thinking for, looking for a way to make a good impression. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you would spend you'd spend that much money uh, getting a meal in Regina, driving there, or or even just going to a single show, and you know you can spend a lot on that. And so we're excited for this pairing. And it's nice because Moose Jaw now has that capability, not only culturally, but um, in the cuisine area that people can do that. So. Chef Keith's doing some great things over there. Absolutely. We're on our last minute. <laughs> so let's refresh everybody's mind. This is called Some Enchanted Evening. Some Enchanted Evening. And it's at the May Wilson Theater, February 13th through 15th. Thursday to Saturday. Thursday through the Saturday from at 7.30 in the evening. Perfect for, for romantic lovebirds and for families and even for children, you know, for a special Valentine's treat or anyone who loves musicals. Um, this is this is a show to be at. Great, and of course, on Friday evening, February fourteenth, there's the special dinner. Yes, special dinner at Temple Gardens Mineral Spa on Friday the fourteenth. Pre uh, pre purchase tickets at the Rhubarb Office at three two one Main Street, or visit our website, www.rhubarb r u b a r b no h productions.com rhubarbproductions.com. Great. Well, break a leg. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and people will enjoy a wonderful evening. And thank you for bringing this kind of idea to our community. So that wraps it up here. But when we come back, we're going to talk about another event that seems to be growing in Moose Jaw and activity. And it has nothing at all to do with musical theater. So don't go away. <laughs> 